We're like Will and Grace, if one were a six and the other were a seven. Yeah, or like Bette Midler and Bruce Valanche, if right. they were broader. The inspiration was basically the friendship that Julie and I have and the fact that we really talk about pop culture almost as a defense mechanism against talking about other parts of our lives. Do you realize how many people started out as late night television writers? Mel Brooks, Woody Allen. I know I can't wait to marry my own daughter and start writing terrible movie scripts 10 years ago. No one knows who I am really, so it's like nice to be an anonymous curmudgeon um, because what do I have to lose? But I guess if the show sort of gets more popular and I get recognized on the street and people start getting pissed off at me, I can only take it as a compliment. I tweeted something about Blue Ivy earlier and now the internet's being really mean to me. What was the joke? I can't wait for Blue Ivy to be old enough for R. Kelly to piss on her. A few people have unfollowed me. Tyra Banks unfollowed me. Uh, but I don't think it's because I said anything about her. I just think that's because I tweet a lot and she probably didn't want it in her feed. Celebrities now and their publicists are savvy enough to know that even if you are upset by something a comedian said, don't tell anyone because that's so deeply uncool, you know, to be that vulnerable or to act like you don't have a sense of humor about yourself. And the cool ones do have a sense of humor. Hey, now you remind me of a young Sherry Lewis. <laughs> Jerry Lewis. Okay. Yeah, Thank anyway, you. good to see you. Oh, you got, oh, yeah. got the big teeth. Okay. Anyway, good to see you. <laughs> <All right. laughs>